my goodness. Bentley, I've had a wonderful evening, but I must be running along. Well, Gloria, it's only 9 o'clock. Even Cinderella stayed until 12. She only had a cruel old stepmother waiting for her. I have a wicked, but a wicked dance director. And he's called rehearsal for 7 a.m., and I have to be there bright and at least semi-conscious. Yes, but the night is so young, and I've made such wonderful plans. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could stay. But that's showbiz. Well, when are we going to see you again? Well, our company leaves for Mexico City Monday. We will be rehearsing right through Sunday. We're breaking into new dance routines. Well, how about breaking one in here at Casa Greg Sunday night, huh? Mm, that sounds heavenly. But I have so many last-minute things to do, like shampooing my hair. Bring it along. You rinse and I'll dry. <laughs> All right. I'll play hooky somehow. Good. We'll make it Sunday night. Fine. Until Sunday, then. Hey, hey, what kind of a good night is that? I'll see you to your pumpkin. But you can't do that to me, Kel. This will make three days in a row you've broken. I'm sorry, Howard, but our charity show is very important. Well, why can I be that important to you? I've tried everything. I even changed my aftershave lotion. Howard. <laughs> Not only that, I use it on the days I don't shave. I like you and I like your aftershave lotion, but I just happen to be the chairman of our club show planning committee. You and your club. Plans, plans, plans. What would you say if I told you Brad Douglas is going to make a guest appearance? I'd say, how do you expect to get a big star like Brad Douglas? He's a client of Uncle Bentley's, and I'm going to have my uncle ask him. Brad Douglas. Big deal. I saw his last picture three times. Nothing. Howard, thank you for driving me home, and I'm really sorry about our date. And now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Okay. There's only one thing left to do. Drown myself. I'm going to drive through the car wash with my top down. 